Okay, so now let's talk about LinkedIn advertising. Now LinkedIn compared to Facebook has some advantages and disadvantages. The disadvantage if you use paid advertising is that it's incredibly expensive. So we're not really going to suggest you use paid advertising for LinkedIn. The advantage is it seems you can really search for people much better than on Facebook and select them and then invite them and engage in a very much more direct conversation. And in general, people, if they start communicating with you, they seem to be more open and, and can en engage more with you on LinkedIn than Facebook. It doesn't quite have the reach of Facebook, but the people who are on LinkedIn are, are possibly a little bit more action takers than Facebook where there's a lot of kind of window browsing. So in order to reach out on uh, uh, LinkedIn, there's a few things we can do. You can start to search for uh, different groups, etc., which might be, uh, or pages that might have something to do with meditation just like in uh, Facebook groups. So, so if we go down here, you'll see there's groups of people with, um, so all, you see all the groups and you can join those groups and start um, posting content Remember, several pieces of content first, and then you can put up your affiliate link. So that's one way to do it. Now, the other way is more direct and is probably the preferred way, and that is searching for people. And when you search for people, you see that there's a whole lot of filters up here. Now, you can only search first and second we're after the the second tier connections so friends of friends now just a few months ago you were able to do the third tier connections which allowed you to have a, a lot more uh, contacts um, they seem to have grayed this out so um, obviously that maybe was being abused I don't know but now you can do only second tier connections so apply that and then if you go across here, oh, you can search for your country. So I'm in Australia, um, so you can search in a country. But really, nowadays, you can search worldwide. Um, I suggest if you're not getting enough contacts within your country, try worldwide. Then the other filter to look for is down here under other filters and the title. Now, in the title, this is where what I suggest you do is to put in the title the area that you will uh, already have some expertise in. So for example, other than being a meditation teacher, I'm an NLP trainer and a life coach. So I might put in here life coach. And the reason for that is that uh, when they come to my profile and have a look at them, my profile, they'll see aspects of meditation, but they'll also see aspects of being a life coach and you can see here that there are a number I've sent out a lot of invitations to life coaches before so that's why a lot of uh, ones have been sent but you can see in yours you'll see lots of people with life coach in their name and you can pick the ones like Mary here and connect to them now you start by sending a note and the notes uh, I have written down below this video. So let me just show you where they are here underneath the video and I'll just copy and paste this note. So hi Mary, comma, and I am writing as a fellow and in here you'll put life coach. And then in here, you'll put your name.
and that's it. And then you send out the invitation. Now, Mary's going to get that and she's going to click on and see your message. She'll probably uh, check out your profile. And that's why when you say I'm writing as a fellow, you know, massage therapist, Reiki practitioner, teacher, uh, hypnotherapist or whatever your profession is, uh, she will create that rapport and she'll look down your profile and see indeed that you are that particular person. So that's why I recommend you stick to what's on your profile. Now, she will write back and probably about one in five or one in seven people will eventually write back and you, there's nothing you can do until they write back to you. So if after some time you've been sending out some invites, you start to get messages back, they'll appear here in messaging. And if I go down a few, you can see here, such and such has accepted my connection and then you can write something back to her. So let's try and find one where I've written back. Um, so here, Serena will have, uh, I, I've written this, she has connected to me and then I've written a more detailed letter which I'll also put uh, under this video with a link to the affiliate link and then she'll either click on that and might sign up or she might write back to you um, as well and you can keep that conversation going until such time as she uh, signed up. So again you can probably expect about one in 25 or 30 of these people might take some action. Uh, it does take time but uh, it is well worthwhile if you get the um, sign up at the end. All right. It's a good idea to be able to edit your profile. So down here you'll see under experience, you can add in more experience. And here, if you type in skillful mind, There, our logo with the, the person meditating and the flower, lotus flower here should pop up. And if you click that, it'll connect you to Skillful Mind. And you can put that you're uh, promoting meditation throughout the world down here with Skillful Mind. Now I'm obviously added, so I don't need to do that. And then that will show that you are connected to Skillful Mind as well. And uh, so that's it. If you do 20 of those uh, every day, then you'll start getting, it starts off very slowly. You might only get one response the following day and then you'll get two and then three and then it'll, it'll gradually build up. And some people often take about a month or two months to reply to your original message. So that should, um, it does take a little bit of time to do that. And that's why in the next video, I'm going to show you how to automate this whole process.